Hi, my name is Emily. Yes, and sorry. I'm a professional dancer. Uh, I want to know about music and dancing in Quran and Islam, uh, if it's halal, haram, or if it's something you can make good. Uh, how, how is it? Sister, that's the question that she's a professional dancer. What does Quran, Islam, Hadith have to say about dancing, about music, is haram or halal? Sister, as far as the professions are concerned, as far as the professions are concerned, any profession for a lady which exhibits the body and is used to attract people, it is haram for a lady. We don't expect that ladies should do things which attract the gents. Now when a lady dances on the stage, what natural, she is exhibiting her body. What we believe that we respect our ladies, we don't want the ladies to be an object of attraction. This itself goes against the hijab, which is mentioned in the Quran, is mentioned in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 31, and Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 59. So even for a lady does a profession where she attracts the opposite sex, or she dances or exhibits a body, whether it be modeling, whether it be acting, whether it be dancing, it's again the principle because we, what we believe that fine, if she does that for her husband alone, we have no objection. If she does for her husband, to please her husband, no problem. But we don't believe that the women folk should do for foreign males. Because we believe that we respect our women and, and we protect her. That is the reason any profession which exhibits the body or attracts the opposite sex, like dancing, like, for example, modeling, etc. This is prohibited, sister. I hope that answers the question. Um, can it be used in uh, education-wise uh, regarding children, for example? Yes, sister. If uh, you are using for children, for educational purposes, for example, you are doing aerobics. Doing aerobics, if you are doing gymnastics for the children or ladies with ladies, there is no problem. But again, dancing per se, dancing per se is not Islamic because it involves many things which are wrong. For example, music. Music takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there are hadith which I mentioned that the Prophet has only permitted duff, that is an open-sided, one-sided drum. So these things which take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know there is therapy, there is music therapy. I'm a medical doctor by profession. There's music therapy, etc. But all these I feel the best, better than music is the Quran, alhamdulillah. I mean the Quran, in the Quran there is shifa. So when you have a better therapy, why go to the wrong things? So that's the reason these therapy what you teach even to children, if it's purely educational, which is not going against Quran, so now there's no problem, sister. Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you so much. You're most welcome, sister.